hello everyone and thank you for checking back in and I'm gonna show you guys my new life because it's amazing. Look how pretty. Look at this golf course in Manor Hill and Sun and Lakes. I think I'll get back on here when the world wakes up <laughs> so that it's not super dark. I'm gonna run, maybe get some coffee from Wawa or Dunkin' Donuts, probably Wawa. Uh, that's why American Express. I've got my coffee, I just ate a little bit of a bagel. I totally could have made my bagel at home, but um, it's the experience of buying a bagel. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the road. I will update you guys on what we're doing once it's a little lighter outside, just because I just feel like my camera's having a hard time adjusting. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As most of you guys know, if you've been following me on like Instagram or TikTok, I got licensed in December. So it's been a couple months since I've gotten licensed and it's been great. We are on our way to Sebring, Florida, which is my hometown. And that's pretty much where I sell most of real estate. I do sell in Cape Coral, Fort Myers, Naples area, um, but I, I mainly sell in the Sebring Avon Park area. So I have two walkthroughs, one with a client, one by myself, and I also have two closings to do today, which I'm really excited about. This is going to be my, my fifth closing, um, which is crazy. Like, I was fully expecting to wait like six months to even a year for my first deal. I'm on my eighth deal. Let's just focus on getting there and I'm gonna show you a really pretty house that I put under contract. We're closing on today and it's beautiful. It's in the country club of Sebring, Florida. We're gonna go check it out. This is our final walkthrough, so hopefully everything is in place. I usually keep like all of the like lock boxes on um, my showing sheets from the MLS, but I don't, oh here it is. Sometimes I don't remember the lockbox, so this is a problemo. All right, yeah, I usually just like print out the paper from the MLS um, and then just like write the lock lockboxes on it that way, just so that it's just easier. And these little folders help so much. Pretty sure I took most of them from my mom, but you can find them at like Office Depot or like, I don't know, just like any of them that look like that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go do a little walkthrough by myself just so that if my client gets here, if something's messed up, maybe I can like fix it before he gets here. I'm 30 minutes early. The next walkthrough that I'm doing, I'm just doing by myself because my clients did not request a walkthrough. But you always wanna do a walkthrough, make sure everything's good. If it's furnished, make sure that furniture is still there. Alrighty, look how pretty. We are in, let's go. Hello. I always say hello just in case, you know? All right, we made it in. It is furnished, good sign. Everything's still here. This is the master. Like I said, this property is located in Sebring, Florida bar area which I really loved um, I do really like this kitchen it is very bright maybe I could show you guys from this angle I love the kitchen area um, kitchen area I love the patio area you're right on a golf course I'll show you that view in just a sec this is considered an office but also considered a bedroom because it does have that closet guest bath Guest bed and I just have to check and see if the owners took the boat out of the garage because they had a massive boat in here yep and the patio area which this is a really nice area and like I said right on a golf course and on the side of the garage you have a little golf cart entry so you can just come in and out as you please on your golf cart 
I brought my computer in here. I knew that I would be early today, um, but I am gonna get a little bit of work done while I wait for my client to show up. It's 8.11, he should be here at 8.30. Um, I just have to send a transaction sheet to my TC. If you guys do not have a TC, if you guys are a new real estate agent or you've been in the business forever, I'm sure you know, um, get a transaction coordinator. They are so helpful. Thankfully, my brother Joey is mine um, and he's really awesome. He makes sure that everything is going on time, everything's filed correctly, appraisal inspections are going good, all of that stuff. Anytime I get something new under contract, I always make a transaction sheet, send it to Joey, and he goes from there and then I can focus on finding another buyer or a seller, whichever. So really, really helpful, saves so much time as an agent. So if you are thinking or we're on like the fence about getting a transaction coordinator, do it. It's amazing, it saves you so much time and saves you a crap ton of headaches. So this transaction sheet is for one of my buyers that just put an offer in on some lot and land yesterday. We just got the offer signed, so now I'm putting together the sheet to send to Joey. Really excited for my buyers for this one because they just purchased um, a home with me and then they bought the land next to it. I'm just really excited because now they have the entire land, nobody, like they don't have to worry about anybody building next to them, which I'm really excited because that's exactly what they want. They want like their grandchildren to play, so I'm really Really excited that they got their hands on this land now I have to find the owner for the other land which is really oh it's driving me nuts because they live in like Trinidad and it's really hard to get a hold of them and I don't even know if they want to sell their land but I want to call them and I'm like yo I got a buyer we are pulling into Sun and Lakes which is another really great community here in Sebring Florida and I have a house under contract we are closing today um, and I'm gonna do my final walkthrough alone, literally right on the golf course. I cannot wait to show you guys this view because it's crazy. Oh my gosh. Welcome to Florida. Anyways, I've got to steal this sign in the front yard. If I can. Take this sign because it is no longer for sale. It's also my mom's sign. She listed it, I sold it, bam, dream team. Hello? Okay, so this is what I was talking about. Literally, look at this golf course. It's so beautiful. Right? in Manor Hill and Sun and Lakes, right on the golf course. If you like to golf, oh, it's so beautiful. I am really excited for my buyers. It was so much fun showing these buyers this house because we, I scheduled like six showings and then they weren't really loving any of them. And then I remembered that my mom listed this house and I was like, follow me, you guys are gonna come see this house. And at first they didn't want to, they walked in, they put an offer in immediately. So I'm so glad I brought them to this property because it's just, it's perfect. I just got out of my two closings. I am waiting for Charlie. Um, cause anytime I come into town, I always come to Charlie's house, which it's actually crazy. Cause I see her more now that I don't live in, in town. So it's just funny that now I see her all the time and I don't live here anymore. So yeah, I picked up both my checks for my two closings. But it did make me like want to talk to you guys about commission fees because a lot of you guys are in my DM saying if it's worth it, what's up, like with all that. Um, I will say, if you are a new agent, most of the times new agents will fail in real estate if you do not have a, one, accountability, or two, like mentorship. If you don't have any of that, it's so hard to start out as a real estate agent. Thankfully, I am on a team. I work with Livy and Coast to Coast, but we are also at Keller Williams. So I not only have a commission split for Livy and Coast to Coast, I also have an office fee with Keller Williams. But at the same time, would I have these leads? Would I be as educated as I am now if it wasn't for my team. Absolutely not. If you're one of those agents, definitely think about joining a team. People are gonna tell you, don't join a team, the commission fees are awful. But if you need accountability, if you need to know what to do next, if you need somebody on speed dial saying, hey, I need a question answered ASAP, um, they're there for that. It's literally what your team is there for. So but yeah, today was a good day. I'm all done real estating. I have to edit um, a contract really quick 
But other than that, I'm pretty much done. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in maybe another video. Who knows?